welcome 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 to my home and most of all welcome to my kitchen on the menu for today is red beans baby okay we're gonna cook us a good old pot of red beans my way of course y'all know my motto cook what you know your family will eat don't let anyone tell you what to do in your kitchen i'm not gonna hold you guys Let's jump in this pot. Let's get it. Okay, guys, these are all of our ingredients today. We have some minced garlic, some green chopped bell peppers, our sausages. We have chopped onion. We have chopped mixed veggies. We have garlic powder, onion powder, basil. We have red crushed red pepper flakes, some thyme, black pepper, tonies, and of course, our beef broth. Let's get it okay you guys i'm at my favorite part and y'all already know that's chopping up fresh vegetables for you guys so i'm going to let the music play while we get these vegetables together Okay, guys, I had my beans soaking in some cold water, and this is how they look. You see how they all wrinkled and stuff? That's how you know your beans are ready. So we're going to move on over here to this pot, honey. We're going to dump them beans in there after I rinse them a couple of times. So we're going to just dump them on in this pot, baby, and we're going to get this thing to jumping. They're going to my smoked turkey next. Guys, you can use whatever kind of smoke. Um, meat that you find in the store i only can find smoked turkey neck so that's what i use and i'm going to go in with two quarts of beef broth guys feel free to use whatever kind of broth you like but i just chose beef broth and i'm just going to go ahead and do two quarts and i am going to go ahead and follow it up with two cups of water, you guys. I just want it to be more than enough liquid because you know those beans soak liquid up. And I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on it and let it go. So while that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and get brown these sausages up and get a little, you know, color on these sausages. Yes, indeedy. Y'all is already smelling good in here, okay? But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cook up our sausages and get them going. Once they're done and everything, I'm just going to take them out of my skillet and set it to the side. Look at all them good old bits at the bottom of that skillet. Yes, indeed. Them sausages looking good. So once I remove all my sausages, I'm just going to go ahead and chop up all those mixed veggies right into that same skillet so we can scrape up some of those bits because you know that's some good old flavor. Yes, indeed, y'all. So I just added in all of my mixed vegetables except for my garlic. I did not add my garlic into this soften. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and season it because you already know if you're not sneezing, it definitely ain't seasoned. So what we're going to do, guys, is mix that all together together and let that go ahead and soften and get all merry in this skillet and we're gonna move right on to putting in our minced garlic i did not want to put that minced garlic in too early y'all you know garlic burn easy okay so what i did is just added in the minced garlic once my veggies softened a little bit so right here guys you always take some beans out of your pot if you want that thickness like gravy texture in your beans always take you some beans out get that good old potato masher baby and go to work that's all i'm doing right here is just going to work okay and you just go ahead and mash up you some good old beans and add them back to that pot. 
and you're going to have that thickness without using flour or corn starch slurry. That's all I'm doing here, mixing everything in really well. And we're going to jump right on over here to adding in all of our mixed onions, bell peppers, that good old garlic. Get everything into our pot because we're at the finish line. Yes, indeedy, you guys. So once I get all of our peppers in, I'm going to go ahead and add in all of our sausages. Now, you can feel free to cut your sausages up smaller than this. I just did quarter size pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and add in those turkey necks. All I did was shredded all the meat off of the turkey necks. Honey, I got that fork and I went to work, okay? And I'm gonna add all that in to my beans. This is a thick and hearty red beans. Y'all look at all that. Just, just look at all that flavor in one pot. Yes, indeed, honey. You mix it all together, honey. It's just the aroma of it all. Look at that. Yes, indeed. So, honey, I'm gonna go ahead and you know I got to season this pot, okay? Can't leave without doing that. Put some flavor on that food. So, of course, I'm going to put some flavor in my pot, you guys. Mix that in real well. Now, I'm going to let this go for an additional 5 to 10 minutes, you guys. Put that cover back on there. Look at those beans, y'all. Yes, indeed, you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and fix our plate. Thank you guys for rolling with me. Please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.